What's up music lovers and music makers? I am the Cairo. About to do a video. I can't say quick video because this is about to be a long video using the uh, Refill Packer by Propellerhead. You can download it from the Propellerhead website. If you can't find it there, uh, you can do a Google search, type in Refill Packer. Um, I'm actually using version 8. Um, and basically this is just the, the refill packer that you're going to use if you want to do your own refills. Um, for those who um, follow me on my YouTube channel um, or those that are part of the Music Ram, you'll know that I actually created uh, my first drum kit called the Rhythm Volume 1. And this is um, actually the app that I use to create my uh, refills. So I just want to actually walk you through the process that I did in creating these, man. So um, hopefully you guys got some time to watch this video. Don't know how long it's going to be, but I can tell you that it's going to be pretty long because I'm going to walk you through pretty much the, the whole process. Um, so just bear with me. I kind of loaded up a few drums just so I don't have to um, take you through the whole thing. Um, I will tell you that. Um, I, I dummy I dummy this one. Um, the actual drum kit that I'm going to use is, is it has a lot more drums, but I just wanted to dump some drums in here just so you can see how how this kit actually works. Um, just when you're going through the process of, of creating your own patches and, and you know just getting used to it, man. So just follow me. Um, so what we're going to use, we like I say, we're going to use a refill packer. We're going to use Photoshop because that's the um, the app that I use to do my um, my template for my artwork and then of course um, we're using Reason 8 um, so follow along man so first off we're gonna jump in uh, to Photoshop um, one of the things that we're gonna have to do um, is create our own um, backdrop which you already see here that I got one created um, and then you'll need the uh, splash icon which is when we go into the um, the refill template you'll see why we need this splash icon and as you can see it says refill so that's just something that's needed for the template to create your own uh, refill image um, and I this is the normal one this is the the one that comes with the the uh, template but I found out how to create my own so I created my own and as you can see it's a lot bigger and we have to get it to this size which is 64 by 64 pixels and the way that you do that you create this into a JPEG and then you'll just drag it on to the top of this and then save um, you'll just save this as splash.jpg and then you'll um, import it into the folder that we're going to create so so just keep that in mind once you once we go into my folder and you'll see what's jumping off there so um, that's that's the process with with that so we're going to close that out because um, we're, we're off of Photoshop now so let's jump into reason and the process of reason we're going to select our um, a new backdrop because um, we don't want to use the primary one that comes with, uh, you know, with uh, with reason when you select a compact. So I'm going to go to my external drive and I'm going to go to my rhythm folder um, and where I have my backdrop. So we're going to select this one, which is the one I already have created. And as you can see, it imports on there. And then I have my uh, my wave files, etc. So Whenever you have drum sounds, etc., you want to go in and make edits to them. Sometimes when you load your drums in, you may want to uh, normalize them. If you want to reverse them, fade them in, fade them out. If you want to change the, the way they loop around, um, you can do that here. And then you'll go in and save it. And then um, we can cancel this because, like I say, we're not going to really use this one. And then um, you'll do that for every sound on all the pads that you have them on. And then one thing you have to do before you uh, actually go to save the patch because it'll it'll keep you from uh, actually being able to create the refill if you don't if you don't uh, take it off of um, you have to go to song self-contained settings and you have to uncheck each one of these um, so that it doesn't um, self-contain it with just in this song and so what you have to do is uncheck them like they're not checked right now because I didn't do any editing to them that's going to just keep it self-contained within the song but then you'll uh, you'll just hit OK and then um, you'll be able to um, save that patch to wherever you want to put it um, like I say if you want to put it on your desktop or wherever that, um, that you have it and then um, 
you'll take it there. And then another thing that you want to do is for your, your samples, you want to um, you want to manage your samples. And the reason that you want to manage the samples is because you need to make sure that you take all the samples that you're using and you want to um, make sure that those samples go into that folder um, that you're going to um, be creating your your um, your refill in. So you're going to import those. Uh, I'm sorry, export those out into wherever you're gonna uh, wherever you're gonna save them to. So you can. Um, highlight it and then export export it to whatever folder you're going to put it to and it'll it'll come up and then you'll put it into whatever folder like go into the desktop wherever that folder is going to be and you see like i have mine already created here so like i say i'm not going to open it up because you'll see where i'm going um once you get there so i don't want to confuse it too much because all the information is there but this is the process that that i take to do so so hopefully i'm not going too fast but i'm going to go fast only because like I say, I don't want the video to be to be too long, and I want to kind of keep you guys' attention for when I create this thing. So um, that's the process for that, man. So hopefully you guys understand understand that process because more so, I just want to focus on um, using the re refill packer itself. So that's what we do there. Um, so we can come out of reason but like i say as you can see those are the main things um that you want to do within reason within photoshop blah 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 so let's come out of that um let's got to get out of there and then we're going to go and and um let me just take you to the uh refill packer template um so you can see what comes on um, when you down when you first download the refill packer itself um you're going to get the refill packer app which um, I have downloaded here, and I have it in my uh, in my uh, my selection banner here, so I can you know bring it up on my dock whenever I, whenever I want to choose it, so I don't have to search it within my applications. Um, and then you have the sample folder. The sample folder just comes with different ideas on on what type of patches you could create. And then you have your template folder. And as you can see, the template folder comes with an info text, and it comes with um, the the splash icon itself and so in the info and I still have my cough so that's why you kind of see me pausing and, and trying to hold that cough in so if I have to let it out please bear with me like right now <coughs> okay so in the uh, info text um, what you have to do one is gonna once you start typing it's gonna ask you to unlock it and so you'll just unlock it real quick and um, then you're gonna have character encoding and this is just the lettering type so the only ones that I'm familiar with is UTF-8 um, and UTF-16. And then you're going to um, hit select your name, which is going to be the name of your refill. So whatever you choose to name your refill as, your copyright. The way that I do it is um, I'll do, because um, you can do at and then a year and then whatever you name your, uh, your refill as or your company name, whatever. Um, what I do mine as is uh, I do copyright the name of my refill and the year that I did it. Um, I don't have a website just yet, so I'll just put my uh, my email address and then whatever comments that I choose to use um, as far as naming the refill. So, um, like I say, once we bounce into the refill creation itself, you'll see what I have. So that's how we do that. Uh, so we're going to come out of there. Let's open up the refill packer and jump right into it. Okay, so these are selections. So you got the input folder and you got the output, uh, output folder. So with input, it's going to come up. And you're going to go, since everything is, for me is loaded on a desktop. And like I said, I have it on a desktop just because for tutorials it's easier for me to find this stuff. But normally I keep it on a, uh, a different hard drive. Um, and so we're using the, the Rhythm Volume 1 Kong refill. And as you can see, that's all the information. So real quick, before I, I select to choose, I'm going to let you see what I have in that, in that folder itself. So let's go to Desktop. Let's bounce to the Kong refill. And let's bring it up. So this is my text. So like I said, character encoding, I'm using UTF-16. Um, that's the name, the rhythm volume one. That's my copyright, the uh, rhythm 
um, Kong Refill 2016. Like I say, for my URL, I just have my email address and then my comments are Reason Hip Hop Drum Kit. Um, so close that out. And then for my Kong patch, uh, because I have multiple Kong patches in here, I'm going to open it up for you and then you're going to see all the Kong patches that I have as well as, like I was saying, import all the, um, the WAV files that I have saved and, and edited within here. So here are all the, the WAV files that are going to correspond with each uh, Kong patch that I created. And so you'll see all of those as well as the Kong patches. So these are the Kong patches that are going to go along with this refill. Um, and as you can see, I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then these are the, all the corresponding sounds. And then that's my that's my splash icon there, as you can see. So it's, it's blurry only because it's 60 by, uh, 64 by 64 pixels. Okay. So like I said, we're going to bounce back over to the, uh, the refill um, packer and going back to it. And hang on one second. Okay. So once we choose it, as you can see, it brings up all the information. Um, it brings up the splash image or splash icon as I call it. Then you need to choose an I, uh, output um, place. I wanted to just output straight up to the uh, desktop so you can see it when I, when I create it. Uh, and so when I hit choose for that, that's that. And then we're going to go um, create refill. As you can see, you can hit custom if you wanted to go to the applications. Um, for what application version or reason you wanted to go to. What I'm going to do is the default because I'm using uh, Refill Packer version 8 um, and ask for reason 8 or, or, or uh, better um, or above, I'm sorry, or later. Um, and so I'm using um, reason 8.2 or later. And so I'm going to create Refill. And as you can see, it's going through the process. Um, the Refill has been packed successfully with 126 files and they were added. So we're just going to hit OK. And we can close this out. Um, we can actually just let's shut out of uh, Photoshop because we're done with that. And then that's our uh, that's our refill right there. So what we will do, we can bring up uh, Reason again. Uh, let me make that window. Let me bring up my rack. And I'm using the, uh, like I said, I'm using the MacBook Pro, so I don't have the luxury of my um, my dual monitors. And then aside from that, with Camtasia, you can only, you know, use one monitor at a time anyway. So bear with me on that. But uh, so when I want to select a, a patch, <coughs> excuse me, what I can do here, let me hang on, hang on, hang on. Because I already have one created, so let's just go here and let me show you how it works. So here's my refill here. And these are my Kong patches. These are the ones I already have created. And just let you guys see how they look. Um, so these are the, the patches. And then these are some other refills that I created of just various samples, etc. Okay? And so this is the 808 one. So... With Reason 8, you can do the drag and drop. So I'm just going to drag and drop and bring it up, close that out, and then that's the patch there. And that's how it works. So I hope you all enjoyed the uh, tutorial. Uh, the Rhythm Volume out, uh, uh, Rhythm Volume 1 is out now. Sorry about that mix up. But um, if you guys want to get it, hit me up. But again, glad that I can show you how to make your own refills. Um, there are some videos out there, but like I said, I just wanted to, especially for those in the uh, the uh, uh, music ram wanted to show you guys how to do it just um, because you guys are a part of my community um, so I just wanted to share this opportunity with you guys and, and just show you um, a way to create your own refills um, but still we support each other so if y'all want this trunk kit man let's do it but um, also create your own man and, and um, you know it's just just some things man to expand your brand as we always talk about in TMR man so um, thank y'all for watching um, threes up